So welcome to the Year 9 Options video for History. Now lots of you have already decided that history is where it's at, but for some of you, you're still trying to think about those decisions. Hopefully this little video is going to help you shed some light on what it is that we can offer and help you make that decision. So in terms of will I enjoy history, well really that is up to you. We look at a great range of topics which I will highlight shortly. Within this, we also look at offering a range of trips. Firstly, we go to Norwich Castle. This is part of one of the studies we do, okay, where we get to have a tour of the castle and look at its journey through history. We're also going to be offering for you a trip to Hastings, to the Battle of Hastings site. And lastly, for 2021 20, to 23 cohort, that's you, we're going to be looking at a trip to Germany to see the sites of the Nazi past. So here I am at the Nuremberg Rally and oh my goodness look, you can see this guy has just become leader of Germany. He looks quite popular. Well as part of our GCSE course what we look at is how he came to power, that's Hitler, and also how he controlled people. We look at propaganda, we look at terror groups and then lastly we, look, we kind of look at the impact of World War II on the German people. Okay, now here we are at Stamford Bridge. Not that Stamford Bridge, this Stamford Bridge. This is the battle site in 1066, where King Harold of England wins a battle before suddenly having to march 200 miles south to fight William of Normandy. Now William, spoiler alert, kills Harold and manages to become King of England. The GCC course looks at how William controlled the English people when he became king and also the rebellions he faced and the castles that he built. As you can see, I am now stood outside Norwich Castle where we look at the history of the castle and how it's changed over time. From its conception as a Norman castle through to it being used as a prison where we look at crime and punishment and maybe a hanging or two. And then how it becomes a museum where we look at the exhi exhibitions that are there today such as this giant polar bear. So here I am stood in a medieval village. As you can see, it is quite primitive and people live very basic lives. Your study will encompass looking at life from 1250 to the present day, where we look at living conditions and how they changed over that time period. As part of your study, we also look at epidemics and how people respond to them, such as the Black Death when it comes to England in 1348, or when Jon Snow becomes a hero by removing the water pump handle in Broad Street. We also look at monumental changes such as when Princess Diana shakes hands with an AIDS victim to try and persuade people that it cannot be passed by touch. Our last visit to the past brings us to America, which is my favourite part of the GCSE course. Here we are in New York at the harbour welcoming the first president of America, George Washington. Yeah. So our course looks at how America transforms from the 13 original states right the way through to the 1900s. This includes looking at the lives of different groups of people. So the first group we look at is the Native Americans. The Native Americans are removed from the east into the west into reservations. We then look at the group of people known as the settlers, people that travel west for different reasons, be that whether it's to dig for gold or whether it is to escape persecution like the Mormons or equally for those who just want a new start. The last group that we look at are the African Americans. We look at their journey from slavery right the way through to them being freed after the Civil War. We look at how their lives develop and the new opportunities that they are given. Unfortunately, I don't have all day to talk about the GCC course for history. However, I hope I've given you a bit of a flavour of what it is that we are look at. So we as the history department love our subject and we hope that you will too. To finish off with, I'd just like to leave you with some comments and views of both the History Department and also other students that we have taught, just so that they can tell you how brilliant our subject is too. Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, you guys. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Mrs Lucas. I'm one of the history teachers at Farlingate that hopefully could be teaching you for GCC History next year. Um, I think that... For me, one of the most interesting parts of the GCC is the public health unit. 
Um, I've always found it really interesting thinking about how people have responded to diseases and health crises throughout um, history, right from medieval times up to the current day. Um, and obviously it's, it's particularly relevant at the moment with what we're facing. Um, and I think it's really interesting to think about the similarities and differences in how we've responded through time. Hope to see you next year. Hi Year 9, Miss Alma here. Why should you choose history? Pretty simply is one of the best subjects going. Okay, but why is that really the case? History is fantastic because not only does it help you to understand the where you fit into the world, it helps you to understand why the world is the way which it is today. It covers everything. It covers food, it covers politics, it covers love, it covers society, it covers wars. Everything and anything which you could possibly find interesting fits into history, okay? And if you want to know why there are tensions in the world today, it's by studying history which allows you to get to know that, okay? It's fantastic. Not only that, but it's the skills you learn in history which you can take forward into the rest of your life. We're surrounded by fake news today. Everything is on social media. Constantly news is being thrust into your face on your screen. But history allows you to understand the warning signs and where to look and how to unpick the lies and the truths into anything which is put in front of you today. That's why history is so fantastic. Choose it. Hello, Year 9. I'm afraid Mr McDonald can't make it today to talk to you about GCSE, so he's asked me to do it. You should all choose GCSE. You can learn all about me and my relatives and how we spread disease through the centuries. Uh, history, it's clearly the best subject, taught by the best teachers. Now pick it or I'll... I've got something to say about history, delving into the dark past mysteries. Truly worthwhile GCSE, now stop talking and listen to me. We start the course in 1933 with the Nazis rising by my German knee. There was more to this scheme than meets the eye. Why did millions of Germans fall for such an awful guy? The story is long but an important tale of trickery, manipulation and betrayal. Discovering resistance, oppression and hope helps you understand more about modern Europe than rewind for part 2 to 1065 with the death of Ed with the confessing guy, his arguing successors to Harold's and William, this is a story of how England became on moon. Bloodshed, battles, King sent to the grave but first with the Anglo-Saxons living in a golden age and William, did he have too heavy a hand? And what are all these castles doing across England? The birth of our country is an interesting story, with dispossessed lords rebelling for glory. The fact our first king was actually French and our language and religion kinda come from them. Designed in the 1250s and you watch England transform through the centuries, people's health, medicine, technology, lifestyle, I assure you that this one is really worth your while. And America birth of global superpower, slavery and civil war, the country's darkest hour, oppression of the natives and gold mining in the west, evil presidents putting the country to the test. You'll study free groups, whites, blacks and Indians and how free laws and wars they struggle for the land and freedom. A fight over a century long, but it gives insight to our modern world and things that can go wrong. You'll do a part called history around us, but I didn't do it because of coronavirus. It's about Norwich Castle, I don't know more than that, but I wish you luck with a pat on the back. And a summary, why you should take history, improves your writing skills and personal sense of liberty. Useful for careers like law and journalism, makes you seem cultured and develop healthy cynicism. Most of all, it should interest you, but if it doesn't, don't take it. It's your life after all. My name is Barney Barnes, and as a matter of fact, that is a final end to my final rap. So in terms of will I enjoy it, really that is up to you. As you've seen, we study a whole great range of topics, and so I would say the answer is yes.